Hello, 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 hello. Hello. Microphone check. Hello. Nicole, how are you? That's my sister's name. That's a lovely name. Caroline, how's it going? Arroyo. It's a very nice name. Arroyo. Very important to roll the R when you do that. Jenny. Who let Jenny Hanna in here? She's a menace. We all know that. Uh, hi. What's up, Yania? Yan Is that how I say that? What's going on, guys? Quarantine. T. Blamine. Hi, bro. What's up, man? How are you? George Washington as your um, profile pic. That's cool. Let's do a hair check. Yeah or nay? It's getting long and nobody will cut it, so what can I do? Hi from Toronto. I love Toronto. Hi. Sarisha. Rhode Island. That's cool. I need a chair. I'm kind of awkwardly squatting right now like a weirdo. That's weird, right? Let me get a, get a chair. <clears throat> chair coming in. <sighs> right here. Me and you. Yo y tú. Nosotros necesitamos hablar, por favor. Uh, Que, 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 que saudade? Caracal, that's Portuguese, man. I don't speak, I wish I spoke Portuguese. I wish I could go to Brazil and learn that language. But guess what? I can't travel right now because I'm stuck on a freaking quote. Uruguay, I have been there. I've been to Uruguay. Beautiful, beautiful country and beautiful people. And I would kill to go back right now. <clears throat> but instead, I think I'll sit in this little room for months on end, right? Just like everybody else. Hi from NYC. How's it going in NYC? I, I'm in California now. I uh, left because things were getting, you know, a little crazy. Um, but I hope everybody is doing okay in New York. I love New York more than life itself. Greatest city in the world. Hi from Saudi Arabia. That's a long way. Brazil. Sasha said terrible. Now, Sasha, are you referring to my face being terrible? What I'm saying? Oh, so you're saying New York is terrible. You're saying New York. Understood. Understood. It's okay. It's a little quiet. I know it's a little quiet here too. It's a little quiet um, everywhere. It's weird. I went out and um, was looking at getting like a little office, just like a little thing to sit and write because we're all quarantined and there's nothing to do and I need to get out of the house or I'll lose my mind as I'm sure you guys can understand. And um, I walked through these office buildings where you can rent a um, an office and it's empty. It's like post-apocalyptic. It's such a strange time, but we're going to pull through. You're also in California, I see. Much love from Israel. Um, what's my favorite thing I've cooked in quarantine? I've cooked in quarantine. When you're in quarantine and you say cooking, you have to say cooking. It's uh, how you how you pronounce that properly. Um, I've been pretty vegan during my um, quarantine, which is a new thing for me. Not full vegan, not there yet, but um, I've been doing less meat, which I think the earth and the animals probably appreciate and fellow vegans. It's good. Delicious, delicious meals, chickpea things and... Um, a lot of portobello mushroom sautéing, and uh, what else have we been doing? Some really, some really good. I had jackfruit tacos today. Those are very good. Tastes better than anything. Vegan is good, no COVID. Agreed. Very much agreed. Um, does anyone have a question or a, or a request, or is there anything you'd like to know? Is there anything? Can you recommend me a song? Can I ask you what kind of song? Can you get like back in there real quick with what kind or so just any song? I'll, I'll tell you my favorite song of all time is um, a Van Morrison song called Sweet Thing. That whole record is terrific. Um, I would recommend that big time. Good for dancing and singing or napping. It's really good. It's really a multi-functional record. It's good stuff. Digging that hair. Thank you. I appreciate it. This is quarantine hair. It just grows and grows and gets longer and longer and uh, there's no one to uh, chop it up. So 
you just start to sort of run amok. Um, does Max get with Dr. Sharp ever? That is a question that um, I don't know, man. I, David Schulner might have the answer. I don't. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe it's possible. Anything's possible. Um, I I am yes. I'm hanging out. I saw my family, my my folks. My dog is doing well. Jody's doing well. I I put some pictures of her up on the uh, story, and um, she's the greatest dog in the world. No offense to everyone else's dogs, who I'm sure are amazing. Uh, it's a good time to foster a dog right now. A lot of people are doing that. I'm thinking about getting a new dog because um, there's so many pups that need uh, some love, and we're all stuck inside. So why not? Why not grab a puppy? Shout out to Georgie, Sasha's dog. If she's still on here, I think she left us. Uh, why did you die, Tom? Because I really pissed the writers off, and they were like, "Get out! You gotta go." No, um, you know, because that story ran its course, and. Um, it served the ultimate story, um, which is uh, Megan's story with Mr. James, um, uh, Liz's story with Red, so to speak. Whoa, that's a lot of hearts. Can you sing just a chorus? Sing what? What am I singing? There is a guitar here, but oh my God, I'd have to be really drunk to do that. You died. <laughs> wow. Sasha, Sasha's on here. She sings quite lovely, Lee, lovely, 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 which is a word, I think. When we fall in love with the nurse, the nurse, who's the nurse? Which character are you talking about? Uh, call me. Well, you didn't put your number, so I can't call you if there's no number. Um, but I can, I can say, hey. Get, wa get wasted. I am going to get wasted. I have a guy. Hey, let's sing together. What do you guys want to sing? Let's all pick a song. Try to sing it. I'm going to grab something that's very important. Don't go anywhere. Here, if you want to come with me, you can. We'll all go together. Oh, boy. Upside down here. Look at this. This isn't good. This isn't good. This is a disaster. What is this? What's going on here? Here's the wine. Got the wine in quarantine. Uh, I miss all the, whoa, damn fam. And uh, tonight we are going to be running an episode that uh, is a rerun because we were going to run this episode that was about a pandemic, which nobody wants to see right now because it's scary. And uh, I'm sorry, it just can't. It's somebody help. Give me a hat or a, a razor. Um, we're airing this episode tonight that's, um, yeah, not the episode that was going to air that introduced the lovely, the talented Mr. Daniels A. Kim, who is doing great um, at the moment, uh, thank goodness. Um, and uh, next week is our finale. That's it. That's all she wrote. One more episode next week, and it's going to be uh, a good one, directed by Mr. Din Tai. Shout out to Din. He's a great guy, great director. His first time directing our show, and we loved uh, we loved having it. Stop touching your head. Sasha, I will touch my head if I want to. Uh, I have nothing else to touch. That's the only th thing I can, is the beard. I think you, you're not supposed to touch your face, but you can touch your beard. I think that's, uh, it blocks the virus, I think. I don't know, that's not true, I'm not a doctor. I wouldn't know. I pretend to be one, but no idea. Did you wrap early? Yes, we did wrap early. We, were, we just finished episode shooting, episode 19, and then we started shooting episode 20. We had 22 to shoot for season two. Um, and uh, we bailed because we had too many people in a large uh, gathering together, hundreds of folks it takes to make that show. So we, NBC made the right call, which was to send everybody home for a few weeks, few months potentially, and um, uh, be safe and uh, let the healthcare professionals uh, handle it who are as we all know, doing an amazing job. Um, shout out to Bellevue Hospital and everybody at New York Health and Hospitals who are um, risking their lives day in, day out to help everybody and, and do the real the real work of um, saving lives. Thank God for them. Uh, meanwhile, I'm over here and can't stop touching my face. Who is Sasha? Sasha's my friend on here, Sasha Dobson. She's an animal. She's a terrific musician, singer. And uh, hey, Joelle. Hey, how are you? Hey, hey, two hey's. Um, She's a friend. Your hair is lit, Ben Cutchins. Let me tell you something about Ben Cutchins. 
not only is he a very talented DP who's uh, shooting Ozark, which is a terrific series, but he's also a rascal. And he makes comments about your hair that he doesn't mean. They're sarcastic. I see you, Ben. I know what you're doing. Can't infect yourself if you're by yourself. Keep outside germs. Yes. Yes, true. Hey, what's up, Darren? It's nice to see everybody. I wish I could see you. Hey, Cheryl. How is Toronto? I wish I could see everybody's real face. What is your favorite book? That's a great question. I think um, I think I'd have to say, sorry if it's too cliche an answer, On the Road, Jack Kerouac. Just a great book that I read when I was, I don't know, a younger man and um, just loved it. This guy traveling the country and observing things and meeting strange people and, you know, just um, trying to understand what the heck this whole life thing is about. It was a great uh, book. This quarantine thing is a good time for introspection, is it not? Maybe I'm just going insane. Is anyone else going insane? Uh, love that book. Yes, good. Me too. What movies? What movies am I watching? I just watched a movie last night called um, Vivarium. Very good. Two Irish cats made it. I forget their names, but look them up. They're great. A writer and a director. Um, uh, Imogen Poots stars in it alongside Jesse Eisenberg. They're both fantastic. Um, Imogen was like knockout in the movie but really smart interesting psychological thriller that's strangely pertinent to these times that we're living in bloodshot i have to see bloodshot i have heard of that and have not seen it. can you do karate on someone in new amsterdam i could if there wasn't a quarantine i could pull some tom keen moves and sneak up on dr reynolds <clears throat> karate chop right here out uh no i wouldn't do that that'd be mean but i could I could, Jocko, just know that I know that I could. Uh, Buenos Aires, much of love. Favorite sport? Ooh, that's tough. That's really tough. Um, I would say basketball. I like going to the Knicks games. God bless them. I know they're struggling, have been perhaps struggling for some time. But um, they're a great team, and uh, it's a fun game. I played soccer when I was a kid, and I immediately hated it. I was like, this is too much running. I can't do this. It's just running all the time. What inspired you to be an actor? What inspired me to be an actor? I don't know. Too much energy. Too much freaking energy. I was a kid and um, always wanted to make kids chuckle, do anything for a little attention, humiliate myself, whatever it took. And, um, and it stuck. And then I started reading plays and fell in love with dramatic literature, shall we say and storytelling and characters and psychologies and the human condition, if you will, and exploring it, and uh, and it's fun. It's very fun. Do I like Tom Brady going to the Bucks? Man, I'm not a big enough sports guy to answer that. I, either way I answer that question, I'm going to get in trouble. Uh, someone's going to be upset. Um, I, think, I think it's exciting to see a little change. I know that uh, Patriots fans are going to be pretty, pretty pissed off. Um, today watching season two, excellent medical aspects of your role. Yes, I do like the medical aspect of it. It's really fun. I mean, one of the best jobs, best parts about this job, about being an actor is, um, learning about real life stuff, learning about real doctors, nurses, who again are doing an amazing job these days of saving people's lives and, uh, and, uh, you know, putting their own lives at, at risk in doing so. And, um, they're, they're, they're truly angels um and uh it's fun to learn about the real stuff and uh you know it's like with tom kino blacklist i got to learn some kung fu moves that was kind of fun and got to read all these books about being a spy and stuff and um now i get to read about uh the history of bellevue and learn about different procedures and stuff and it's kind of fun it's like fun when you play make-believe to learn some of the real stuff from japan how are you guys how's tokyo i've been to tokyo twice I absolutely adore that city, as the rest of the world does. Uh, incredible place. And we went to the um, Kyoto, took the train, and walked through the bamboo forest. And that was one of the most beautiful sights I've seen on this earth. It was an incredible place to be. I highly recommend going when the uh, travel ban allows. Not anytime soon, but, um, but at some point. Uh, do I want to go to med school? No, I, I'm not cut out to be a real doctor. I, I don't have a good stomach for blood. 
and the, the insides of how we work. It's while it's incredible and, um, and amazing, uh, how the human body works is a friggin' miracle. Um, seeing it up close really freaks me out. And, uh, I don't think I have the stomach for it, but, uh, but man, do I respect the folks who do and who are doing an amazing job right now. I've been in Norway. I have not been to Norway. I have been to Sweden next door. I was in Stockholm, uh, actually to promote this television show, New Amsterdam. Um, Stockholm was beautiful. I would love to go to Norway. I would love to go to Finland. I love that part of the world. Um, I've been near Stockholm and also Copenhagen in Denmark. Gorgeous. And, um, and uh, also uh, Amsterdam in the Netherlands, which I know is a different scene, but um, physically not too far and also a great place. Um, favorite country? I don't know. Um, all right, I'm going to get this. I'm not really going to play anything. But I'm just gonna get it just to just to goof around, just to get excited. Um, Alright. Here we go. This is it. This is it because I've been drinking a little too much, my hair's a little too long. Alright, this is a quarantine song. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not really gonna play. I didn't prepare anything. I'm not actually gonna play. This song is called uh, Been Stuck Inside Too Long. Sasha says, yeah, Sasha, if you harmonize with me, I will. Yeah, well, I've been stuck inside too long, and I'm losing my mind, baby, when's this quarantine gonna end? Cause we're all going crazy, baby. Oh, oh yeah, Aaron's here. It's my buddy Aaron. We play music, too. He's a good man. Okay, that's enough. That's quite enough of that. That's not a real song. I'm just goofing, goofing around. But, um, but one day, you know, this quarantine is a good time to uh, sit around and do all that crap you always talk about doing, like writing some songs and recording them, or writing a play, or choreographing a dance, or creating a you know new company, or all the crap we always want to do. Love you too, Sasha. Do it with Sasha. Yes, big time to that. All right. Um, I feel like I should get out of here. You guys are busy. You have a lot of things to do. It's quarantine. You have a lot of places to be, a lot of people to see. I get that. I totally get that. Um, our finale is going to air next week. Um, and then that's it. And then we'll be back to film season three in July, God willing. And we'll be back on the air a few months after that. And uh, yeah, I miss everybody. Uh, I send tons of love, and I hope you're well. I hope you're with friends or, or family. Take care of your parents and your grandparents. Uh, help get some groceries if you can. Be safe and uh, love each other, all that good stuff. Read a good book, and, um, and that's it. Lots of love, lots of love. If you feel alone, you're not alone. Um, it feels that way because we're all stuck inside, but you're not. So, okay, I think that's it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to get out of here. Are you guys gonna, should you go or do you want me to go? You can, I'm gonna, you go. I'll stay. No, you, I'm gonna, okay. Sorry, I'm just gonna go this way. I'm just gonna go here. Sorry. Okay, bye-bye. Yep, call.